Hello, I'm Ora from Ora Plays Games. こんにちは、みなさん。私は Ora Plays Games の Ora です。Today, I will be making Judy's Vacation Home. 今日はアララちゃんの別荘を作ります。And it is located here. 今日はここです。Let's get started! So, I'm starting off by working on the exterior of Judy's place, and I'm g o i n g to be making an outdoor concert venue. It's not that big of a space, so it's more like a mini concert venue.、Um, and As some of you guys might know,、um, usually when I'm starting with the outdoor section of the houses in Happy Home Paradise, I try to think of the color scheme for the house first, so that's what I'm doing right now. This was the first time I tried doing like a white on white situation for the house, and I actually really like how it turned out. Have you guys been to an outdoor concert before? I don't know about you, but I would love to attend Judy's concert here. I actually love the space so much. And、um, other than like the black and white items that you see here, I tried to get inspired by Judy's own colors as I usually do. For my builds on Happy Home Paradise, so you'll see that I use a ton of pink and blue. I love this grand piano, it is. So amazing. The only thing I have to say about that piano is that there's no piano chair.、Um, but then I noticed that the animals on Animal Crossing they play the piano without a piano chair. So I guess it works out. But、um, it would have been nice to have a piano chair. So, this was the first time that I met Judy on Animal Crossing. I had never seen her before,、um, but she has these amazing manga anime inspired eyes, and she sometimes looks like human to me because of her eyes. It's really interesting. I tried to work with that log bench, but it wasn't going with the space because I'm trying to make a very elegant looking space, and so I ended up getting rid of that. And I love the harp that is just on the hill, it is beautiful. Actually, Judy's place gives me a lot of inspiration for terraforming. I love having a little bit of water and different layers of hills. So I'm definitely gonna come back to this one and check out the terraforming again.
I kind of played around with the paths here. I thought maybe I would have little circles, but then I realized it's not enough space. So I end up just like laying out the whole um, seating area section with this um, stone pathing. I felt like this space um, already is enclosed by the different hills and waterscaping features and so um, I didn't want to go too overboard with the fencing but I tried using the hedges here and I thought I'd have a tree but then it just didn't make sense because well you know people are gonna be here wanting to watch Judy's concert and that tree is just in the way. So keeping with the blue and pink theme, I thought I would lay down some blue flowers and also pink flowers, but then um, they seemed to be too dark. Um, while all the other colors in this space is much more lighter, brighter, and pastel-y. So um, I just end up using pink flowers. Alright, the outdoor section is ready. Here is a tour of Judy's vacation home on the outside. Ta-da! I think this space would look really cool in the nighttime as well. But I like it when it's bright because you can see everything really well and clearly as well. Alright, so I came back to do a remodel of Judy's place and I realized that this is the best way to build on Happy Home Paradise because number one, you get paid twice and number two, you can see your client tour the place um, two times and so if you do the outside and the inside, you can have two different experiences of the client touring the place so that's what i did for the interior i'm basically thinking this is a space where judy relaxes um and gets ready um before a concert and so you see there's like a shell bed and I'm gonna be making a makeup area and um, a dining section for a quick bite before a concert. I think this is the first time I've tried to go for such an upscale, elegant look. And I have to say, I absolutely love it. That chandelier is gorgeous as well. I never knew that pink could look so elegant. So this was really an interesting um, design for me because when I think of pink, 
Usually, I immediately think of fairy core, but this is definitely elegant and luxury, luxurious, so I think it's very interesting. I love those velvet chairs as well, the stool and um, the darning um, chair as well. I thought we'd add another piano here because, you know, before a concert, Judy might want to practice and get ready. So you can slowly see how I am dividing up the space here. We've got a dining section right in the front. Um, left side of the room and then right side is the makeup area and then we've got a little um, practice rehearsal section of the room at the back the back left side and then um, on the back right side of the room we have a mini bedroom and I've kind of um, closed off that area with the, what is that called, like a rope thingy, <laughs> uh, just for added privacy. I love those counters. Um, I feel like when in doubt, just get some counters, you know? And then you can put anything you want on top of it. I think the balance of items is really important. So as you can see, I've got the tall um, flower vase in the center and then a candle and some incense. All right, Judy, we are ready for you. Yep, here it is. I love how the space is super elegant with very cute colors um, with the main colors being pink and white. So here is what this place might look like if Judy was actually living here and getting ready for a concert basically. And I had to get dressed up for the fun as well. Pretending that I am Judy's co-star in her outdoor concert. That bubble machine is so cute as well. I love it for the outdoor space. Well, there you have it guys. Thanks so much for watching until the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and leave me a comment to let me know what was your favorite part about this episode of me playing Happy Home Paradise. And I hope that you guys have a great day and night and I'll see you guys real soon. Take care guys. Bye.